Today, I want to talk about the posture of prayer. So here's the first one, and that is kneeling. Uh, it's probably the, one of the first ones that we're taught. Kneeling is actually the posture of submission. It's, again, uh, you know, if you're a warrior, and I, I'm, I'm going to talk about, ladies, this has nothing to do with whether you should pray. You should pray. But from a warrior standpoint, from a man's standpoint, being on your knees is a very submitted position that is very difficult to fight from. It is saying to God, I'm not going to fight you anymore. I'm on my knees. Whatever you want is what I want. Lifting hands. Lifting of hands is the posture of surrender. Watch. A masculine man who's a warrior, kneeling, submitted, hands up, submission, saying to God, I surrender, I give it all up. I don't have my weapon in my hand. I, I, I'm not here to defend myself. I'm here to trust you, almighty God. Here's number three, bowing. God wants us to bow. Now, bowing is different than kneeling. Uh, bowing, again, can be, bowing can be from the knees where you're on your knees and you bow forward. Bowing can also be bowing like this. Uh, bowing is the posture of subjection. What you're saying is you're the ruler. You, I'm bowed to you. I'm going to bow myself. And there is a time to be on your knees and to bow your face to the ground. There is a time where you bow to the Lord, realizing he's king of kings and he's Lord of lords. And I'm in total subjection and total surrender to him. And I want him to know he is the authority of my life. Whatever you want for me is what I want for me. And it is saying, I'm not my own authority. I'm a man under authority. Here's number four, to prostate. Sorry, prostrate. <laughs> the word in the New Testament for that is the word proskuneo. And it literally means to blow kisses. But it's not just to go, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. But it literally is to bow yourself on the ground where you are flat on the ground, where you're kissing the ground and saying, God, it's literally saying to God, it is the posture of saying to you, I am undone. I have no answer without you. I'm, my marriage is not going to make it without you. God, come and help me. Help my kids. My kids are not going to make it without you. God, come. We need you. It is the great, one of the greatest postures that a man can take is to lay on his face before God and kid, blow kisses towards the Lord and say, God, I know I have to have you. I need you. There is nothing else but you. Here's the last one, and that is standing. Standing. Standing is a posture that you can take. Jesus is telling this parable. He also told this parable, Jesus, to some people who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and viewed others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray. One, a Pharisee, and the other, a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and was praying this to himself. God, I think, notice it is a posture of prayer to stand. But he prayed this. God, I thank you that I am not like other people. Those swindlers, the unjust, the adulterers, or even like this tax collector over here. You can bow your knee. You can bow your body. You can lift up holy hands. But God's interested in seeing what's on the inside. Are you really submitted? Are you really surrendered? Do you really believe that God has all authority in your life to choose whatever path for your life? Let me tell you what will get you there when you realize how unworthy you are of God. And yet he gave his son for you. It ought to cause every one of us not to be seen, but it should cause every one of us to be seen of our father, recognizing that he's a good God and he loves you and he cares for you.